Hi guys, today we are going to be making some chili cheese fries. Woo! So I found these in Heron yesterday, Bro City fries. <gasps> They're absolutely delicious. We had some last night. I made a nice curry. Lovely. To go with that, we have got just a can of chili con carne. Beautiful. Um, some burger cheddar slices and some mozzarella. So that's everything I'm using to make this lovely chili cheese fry meal. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. As you've seen in the little intro bit, I've made lovely chili cheese fries. I can I pick this board up because it's been in the oven? Look at that. Sloppy, sloppy. I've got it sitting on top of um, boxes of tacos just to uh, raise it a bit. So you probably see the little Asda sign there, but so what? <gasps> Guys, don't them look gorgeous though? Can't wait to have these. I haven't made them for absolutely ages. Uh, for my drink, thanks to Chloe Willits for reminding us I haven't been drinking water in my last few videos. Cheers guys, I've got a nice jug of water. I've been back on my water because she reminded us. You say one thing and your, your intentions are good to do it, like keep just drinking water, but then that naughty pop in the fridge. I said I wasn't going to buy it, but bless, I cannot just not buy pop because the kids like pop as well. They like juice and other kinds of drinks as well, but I have to have some pop in. But I drank loads of water yesterday and I'm on it today as well. <coughs> right, so I obviously cooked them fries in the deep fryer. Then I just put that um, can of chili in a um, microwave bowl. Microwaved it for one and a half to two minutes. And then once the chips were done, poured them on the board, poured the I poured some mozzarella under and then the chili. And then I layered the um, cheese squares. I've got four cheese squares on here. And then I put some more mozzarella on top. Wow, are you ready to get in while I stop talking? <laughs> Straight in there. Ooh. Wow. They look boiling hot, guys. Mm. You may think, ah, oh, cheating using a can of chili con carne, but honestly, it's got such a nice flavour. Try it, guys. It's really nice. Oh, all that cheese oh yes and those fries are delicious guys look at it man mm. don't you wish you were me right now <laughs> no words for it oh my god this is heaven <laughs> why i haven't been making it is because Oh, that was me coat falling off the chair. Heron always done sliced pepper jack cheese. And I haven't done it for probably over a year now. And I kind of find it anyway. The one that I used to always use. And it was beautiful, that cheese. And I thought, I'm just going to buy mozzarella and the normal cheese slices and try it. And it's just as good. Delicious. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm twanging. Twang is in the face. I've got my mic pin in my hoodie here. Hello, hello. I don't know if it's going to be any good there. So we'll find out. Oh, well, I'm just by myself, guys. Because it's like just after 12 in the afternoon. Um drop the kids off at school and it's like that time of month so and I've done all my cleaning yesterday so I literally just had to come home make my beds 
tidy up the morning mess what they leave every morning and I thought I'm just gonna have a chill day of the day mmm so I'm in my comfies oh and I've just watched this morning as well had a cup of coffee in here the third day is anyone watching it I think I've mentioned it before it's I'm on episode four now it's really good with Jude Law I think it's on Sky Atlantic it's really good so I've just watched the uh, episode four now mm. Cheese a wheezy. Mm. Super simple and super cheap to make. I made a lovely curry last night. I was going to do a mukbang with it. It was like a homemade Indian curry. Happy nice to do it, Indian takeaway <clears throat> and I said I was going to do one at the weekend but we ended up getting a kebab because obviously the kids and that them now that they're not keen on Indians mine though the wolf the curry I made that, uh, yesterday when I'm like I just bought the jarred sauces but obviously I've done chicken and added onions and all that and then I'm done these chips and I've got some naan breads and papadoms and made some rice but as the curry was on I give the kids a little taste just to see if they liked it rather than make them something different Oscar, uh, Spencer loved it so I gave Oscar a taste he went mmm yeah nice so I thought our oh, champion we can all have the same and uh, honestly Spencer had seconds and Oscar like cleared his plate I was so surprised because um, I just didn't think Oscar would have wanted it but you know when you just want to I thought it's a nice meal to mukbang but at the same time, I just wanted it. I wouldn't have been posting it till today anyway. Because um, I'm trying to go back to every other day, guys. But don't take what I say with a pinch of salt because I constantly change my mind. So, But anyways, that's what I want to be doing now. Um, so I wouldn't have been posting it till today. <clears throat> so I thought, oh, I want to do chilli cheese fries. So I'll do that by myself tomorrow and I'll post that video tomorrow. And then last night we just had a nice chill. All about on the table, eating together. But it was lovely the curry. I used to always make curries, but um, I haven't made them for ages. And I says to Kenny, think of some meals. What you like? Like obviously he likes everything I cook, but like what we haven't had for ages, or what's your favourite kind of stuff? So he chose spaghetti bolognese <coughs> and the curry, and he knew we was go we were about to eat them lamb shanks. And I got them cans of chilli ages ago and I thought oh, I'm just going to do the chilli um, cheese fries tomorrow by myself. Mm. Just amazing. So I'm just going <coughs> to chill out and watch more TV for the rest of the day, collect the kids. And then I'm going to go and have myself a nice bath and pamper myself. Do you know when you just feel groggy when it's like that time of the month and you want to just pamper yourself a little bit. I need to change these nails. I've had this red on for ages now, but still looks all right, like for a cheap nail varnish. But I need to change them, so I'll change my toes and my fingernails. I got a lift back home as well off my friend this morning. I didn't have to walk all the way home. Got to Canny walk to the school.
if you make this, don't be shy with the mozzarella, just load it up. Huh? Mm. Look at me banging on, I'm drinking water, then I eat like this. <laughs> Oh. So I'm going to get some, I've got some taco shells literally under here, <laughs> um, I got them from Asda. So I say is I want to make some nice healthier tacos, so I'm going to get the corn mince and I'm going to do some nice tacos on my next video guys. Mm. I've thought of a great idea. I mean, I don't know if anyone's done it before, but I feel like I've just created it. <laughs> I messaged my mum with it yesterday, I'm not gonna say. And I don't even know when I wanna do it, so I shouldn't really be telling you because you're gonna be expecting it. But um, I will be doing it soon. But I thought it's a great idea. What, I'll do it. And you all probably would have seen it somewhere. <laughs> mm. Those fries are delicious. I was going to make my own fries because when you buy frozen fries, I feel like they're always like just a little bit like that. And obviously most of them you can't say in the bag. So I now I'm going to buy some large potatoes cut them really fine so they're nice and long but skinny and then when I was in heaven yesterday last night after the school I seen them big brew city uh, it's a brew city or brew dog anyways the fries and you could see them they were like nice and long well most of them are nice and long like McDonald's kind of length massive bag for two pound so I thought oh I'll get them so obviously it's easier just to put some frozen fries in and then cut them all yourself. And I thought, right, when I seen them, that's why I decided, like, oh, I'm doing chilli cheese fries tomorrow. And I'm just going to eat my curry like normal tea time last night. Mm. And they're really nice fries, guys. God, I'll need a nap after this, won't I? <laughs> Mmm. The pens have got PE today. I wasn't sure. Well, I have to wear the PE kit either way, but for so many weeks they do PE and then a little group will change and then the, that group will take over and do forest school. It's like a little, like, they've created like a little forest on the field at school. And there's loads of different things within it in the out there the outside all day when it's forest school so you have to take the wellies in um so i'm not sure if it was that today or pa so i says take your wellies just in case pardon me and um just keep them in your lock and you've always got them because i asked the teacher the other day when oscar's turn for forest school was and she didn't know she says just bring his wellies in just in case and we'll keep them in his air locker So I've got a feeling it is today, like, because he's done PA quite a few weeks now. I was worried about the um, <coughs> orange burger cheese because a while ago I done like broccoli cheese and I put something like that on top of it and it stunk the cheese it smelled like sick and I didn't enjoy the broccoli and when I was opening these I thought oh this this is that cheese it smells the same but then I had a quick taste of it and I, I just must have smelled like that because it doesn't taste like that I thought phew thank god for that would have spoiled it Oh, um, 
it's mine and Kenny's 12th anniversary on Sunday and I forgot all about it. I got that Milan Carter 100 pound gift voucher didn't off my friends for my birthday so I just rang him yesterday I said well he was at work I says Kenny <coughs> I've booked a Milan Carter for Sunday two o'clock go and have a nice meal so we've got 100 pound to spend in Milan Carter so I was looking at the menu in there uh, is it Chateaubriand <sighs> It says a share I bought, but it's only um, I think it said sixteen ounce, but it's one of the it's like the best cut of the fillet. <gasps> I've heard loads of chefs going on about it. It's meant to be the best one. It's um fifty three pound, but it's meant to be a share. But half of the like the normal like rump and t bone steaks are sixteen ounces. And I thought I'm not sharing a sixteen ounce steak. It's not with any anyway. Seeing the size of it, but I went. I'll starve myself all day, and I'll make sure I get through that steak. So, because we're having a voucher, it's not like we're actually paying for it. Uh, so, I think it's there for to treat ourselves. So, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> and I ain't sharing it. <laughs> I've got a feeling he'll go for the T-bone because he likes T-bone steaks. But he can get that as well. Mm. May as well get something we wouldn't usually buy, no that we've got a voucher, so treat ourselves. So that's something to look forward to. Yeah, twelve years. Twelve years. It does not feel that long at all. But yet when you think back, it does feel that long. Like when you look back at pictures. Like to see when Spence was little or like when we first met and Ellis was little. That seems like ages ago. But if I think when I met him it doesn't feel like twelve years ago. <coughs> Guys I'm full. Done well there, like because that was a um mountain. Oh I think that's gonna do me all day as well, guys. Whoa. Let me go for a nice walk later. I'm just going to get some uh, more water, two seconds. Got some more water, guys. Oh, beautiful. So I forgot to ask Ellis, I've just went and booked it, like, but uh, I see, I've just messaged Ellis there. Is that, I hope that's water, not grease. Um, I says, uh, Alice, I forgot to ask you yesterday, but will you watch the kids? Like, in the afternoon, it's not like, we're, I'm not making a night of it, I just want a nice meal and maybe a couple of drinks. <clears throat> so he hasn't replied yet, but he won't be doing out. Just to watch the kids on Sunday for our, when mummy and daddy go out and have a nice meal. So I'm looking forward to that, guys, be good. Um, I don't know when I'm going to go live either, I, need, I feel like I need to do a live, I haven't done a live for ages. We should do a live on Sunday, shouldn't we? I'll ask Kenny, see what he... Um, I asked him while he was busy with doing the bedroom and that, and he just said, nah, can't be about to do a live, because he wasn't that bad. And he didn't want to like sit in front of a camera for the rest of the night when he just wanted to chill. Uh, and I feel like we are doing it myself now that I've done them all with him. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I've got some shout-outs, guys. I don't, I don't know where my shout-out book is, but I've wrote them down here. First shout-out, Amelia City. Wanted us to give her and her cousin Harry a shout out, and she also suggested uh, around Halloween time to get like loads of Halloween snacks and test them with like Oscar and Spencer. So that's a good idea. Thank you for that. Next shout out is Karim Haji. Is it Karim Haji? Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but hello. <laughs> and the next one is Carly Laura. Hi, Carly. Thank you all so much for watching my channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, and on that note, I'm going to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as well, cats like salt and vinegar. Chris said I should do the outro at the beginning of the video because not always everyone gets to the end of the video. And it's like a reminder to like and comment and subscribe. So I need to start remembering to do that at the beginning of the video. So I'll do that on my next video. But anyways, I'll just finish how I always do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Next time I have to remember doing that. 
at the start of my video just to remind you <laughs> anyways thanks for watching guys bye